Howdy folks, welcome to today's episode of Frontier Pilot Simulator and we're going to do some more uh, flight testing here and so we're going to go over to the hangar and one of the things I can already tell <laughs> they haven't they haven't sped up that they really need to do something about the taxiing the taxiing is really 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 slow and it just kinda yeah it's it's a bit too much um, it's it's too slow and awkward I hope they address that eventually I'm cool with them you know not doing it immediately but it's been it's been something that's yeah it's it's been like that for forever so I'm really hoping they they address that as much as they've been addressing the flight model but yeah we're gonna test out the flight model because they're they're working on that and that's what we're testing so uh, we have these things and I wanted to before we go we're gonna get better engines here so let's see what they've got they've got these economy and consumption minus 50 percent and this one is power plus 20 percent okay and so I think we'll take the consumption we'll take the one that gets more fuel so we're gonna replace that we're gonna do let me see rigid plus 25 percent speed yeah we'll do that um, what is the ox wing is drag minus 20 percent and the other one is increased aerodynamic surfaces it doesn't really say it doesn't say more lift or anything does it okay so we're gonna take this one and we'll take the less drag and let's see what we've got for batteries we've got capacity plus 3000 and 15 percent and then we've got 4,000 it doesn't say huh lightweight it's just it's just lighter okay and this is plus 3,000 I mean that's that's pretty significant I think we'll do that um, I don't know let's try let's try these we'll try these this time all right and those are for yeah those are for the other thing was the ox damper and anti-overload okay we're gonna take that because that'll help with, um, oh, we already have it, okay. That'll help with the, uh, <laughs> with the fragile stuff. So we'll see if we can get this to, um, see if we can get this done. Do we need any repair? I think we're all good on repair. All right, cool. So there it goes, it's doing the repairs now. And awesome, okay. So let's go and exit, and we'll go back to the thing, and we'll pick up the cargo because it wouldn't let us buy the cargo before, so we'll see if we can get it now. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully it'll let us buy the cargo. See, now we got to do this. This is where, like I said, this is where the taxiing really... See, we just came out of the thing, and we didn't, all that we did was taxi forward, and it did 1% damage to our landing gear. <laughs> all right. Uh, I'm sure it's just right now the collision detection, you know, just automatically does whatever. And it doesn't consider what's happening, you know. It just considers this thing collided with this thing, and this is the velocity it collided at. Therefore, you know, therefore you take this much damage or whatever. But yeah, I think they're going to have to do some refining on that. That's the thing is if they, if they sped up the taxiing right now drastically, it would probably just end up with, you know, you end up taking damage on that stuff see if we can get there we go all right so let's see if we can get we can take these drones they're fragile where do they go to they go to hard mine okay we can do that and we're gonna go to hard mine and then we're gonna pick up some some food and we're gonna have to VTOL our way to hard to a landing at hard mine anyway and this one is yeah see this one is gonna be really close so we're gonna take off in airplane mode if we can. So let's exit here. There we go. Yep, we're going to take off in airplane mode, so let's go. There we go, like this. What is that bottom hat right to activate this panel? Huh. Bottom hat right? Like that? Yeah, that one. Okay bottom hat left okay that's this one down here because there's three hats there's this one this one and this one so we're 
going to go like this. Come over this way. I wonder if any, but these guys aren't going to whatchamacallit. Oh wait, he's going to Hardmine, isn't he? Is that where our destination is anyway? Let me see. Let's check the map. Let's check the map. Can we can we do the map? Why can't we do the map? Here. Let's go like this. Now we can do map. Alright, so we're going to right there. Yeah, we're going to hard mine anyway. Okay. That's the other thing. Yeah, we're going to hard mine because that's where our that's where our our car come on, you can do it. <laughs> Alright, that's where our cargo is, right? Set destination as tar car target. Whoops. This one. Uh there we go. Certainly. Certainly. Alright, so let's go like <laughs> this and we're gonna open the door. Where's our open the door? Is it that? Where's our open the door? Is it that? There we go. Alright. So we're gonna do this. And get lined up. Alright. So we can back up here. There. Need to get lined up here. Now it's going to take 20 minutes to turn once we're in the air, isn't it? Alright, so we're going to switch to airplane mode once we get lined up here. We'll switch to airplane mode. And we'll put our flaps down. Our flaps are this. There we go. Flaps on. Alright. And auto trim tabs are active. Okay. Alright, let's do it. There we go. Can we... We can't... We can't turn at all while we're, while we're taxiing. It's really weird. It's really <laughs> weird. Okay. And we're going to head to hard mine. Which is over this way. What are we... Is it the flaps? Yeah, it's the flaps. There. Alright. We got way too much thrust. Why is our thrust at maximum? Why is my thrust not coming down? I don't understand why my thrust is not changing. It's really weird. Okay, let me check and see what's going on with the thrust because that's going to be a problem. Uh, controls. Two days later. Let's go like this and let's try, um, let's try caps lock then. There it is. All right. <laughs> it was caps lock. All right. I'll probably edit out the 20 minutes of trying to figure that out. <laughs> All right. So here we go. We need to head to our destination here. And let me see. So I'm at a 45 degree bank angle. And if I pitch, if I pitch, what does it do? Uh, it's, it's turning a little bit better this time, yeah. Yeah, it's responding more like I, I would expect, I would hope it to. Wow, that's really bright. We're gonna have to switch to, to AR in order to get that to work. All right, so our sky limit over upper here is 3400 so why don't we get some altitude here we'll gain some altitude too we are not going to zephyr we're going to hard mine why is it why is it uh marking zephyr as our thing hard mine was where we're supposed to be going that's where it said the lynx drones are supposed to be going right pretty sure that's what it said but yeah we'll go we'll go to hard mine first either way because Zephyr is down in the ocean, if I remember correctly. I really wish you could look at the map while you were in the while you were in the thing. Okay, let me see. It's auto trim. Okay, so let's go like this. J, turn off the auto trim because it auto trims to basically nothing. And oh, cool. So if you look over here on the right, you can see your trim. Wow. 
Did that dude... Did somebody just... <laughs> somebody just blasted past me. With, like, no... No indication that they were coming or anything. Okay, so we're gonna go to hard mine. And actually, we, do, we don't need to climb here, because... Yeah, because that's just going to get us in trouble. And let's see what our AR shows us here. Is that orange thing up there? Is that hard mine? I think that's hard mine. All right. See, the thing that worries me is there it is. Okay, I, is I couldn't see that. I wasn't able to see that. All right, and we need to not fall so quickly here. There we go. Yeah, this is feeling a lot more... I, I like the feeling of this as far as like the plane not just flying in a perfectly straight line and that kind of thing too all right we are not going to be able to um let me see we're not going to be able to land here in airplane mode so what we're going to do is we're going to throttle up there we go and i need to um, make sure that i'm not going to make sure that I'm not going to fly into the mountains and stuff because we are at very close to full full load so I do need to be careful about that as far as yeah all right so we're going to come down here yeah I need to be careful about about dropping too fast like I did last time <laughs> what are you talking about well last what time what who who did what no this is the first time I've ever played this game uh, that was my stunt double that did that. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Something like that. All right, so we're going to go here, and I don't know if they are going to sell the drones, but we do need to, to land on this so that we can... Uh, we need to land on this so that we can... Um, whatchamacallit? Here we go. Buy food. Does that mean that, that I'm buying food here or that they want me to buy food and then land there right uh, anyway yeah we need to refuel when we get here anyway so we'll go like this it's hard to tell I guess we are I guess we are uh, it, it always feels like my center of mass is like down here when it, when I'm in this view but I guess looking from the overhead view on that thing it's not there we go just need to be careful about how quickly quickly we come down for a landing. There we go. All right. Uh, let's go. Let let you out. Sure. One of these things lets you out. Yes. <laughs> there we go. All right. It opens the cargo gate for me. Okay. So I'm gonna let you out while I'm doing this. You, you can climb out with it moving, right? Friends, slow down. They even stop. <laughs> Extra internet points to anybody who knows where that's from. All right. <laughs> hey, he paid me 4,000 credits. Cool. All right, so let's go uh, and see what we've got here. Recharge. He's got lenses. He's got a scanner. So where is our, where are our drones going? See, it's showing them here. Where you can sell the drones. Yeah, we can sell them here. Cool. All right. And then we need to get what? Food? Cerium plates, yttrium coils. All right. Um, Deep Explorer scanner. Where's that one go? Nowhere? <laughs> There's just no point of sale. Okay. Lenses? There's no point of sale for the lenses. Plates? They go to Cargo Spaceway. All right, uh, we can try that. We'll take them to Cargo Spaceway. All right, so we're gonna take the plates and we're gonna take them to Cargo Spaceway. And those are only two, yeah, they're only two tons. That'll be easy enough. And are there any passengers here? I didn't see any indication that there were, but let's check after we get it. Because usually there's somebody going to to cargo spaceway, right? There we go. Are they doing two of them or what? What was that? Huh. Did they put two things in? Yeah, they did. I guess we took both of them. Why did we... Did we click on those? Sell. I don't want those. 
I'm not sure why it <laughs> why it did that. That was kind of weird, wasn't it? All right. Did I was I not paying attention and I clicked on the wrong thing? I must have. I maybe when I clicked on it to to do that. All right, let's check let's check out the map here. Let's go to hard mine. And this guy wants to go to quarry. Okay, yeah, he's going to quarry, so we're not going to do that. All right. And we're going to go here and we're going to set uh, target closest place. There we go. All right, 25 kilometers. And we're going to exit out of here. And there we go. So we need to go four, five. There we go. All right. Take off. Now that my throttle actually works, don't hit caps lock. I need to disable that key so I don't actually hit it. I'm sure all the people that play with the keyboard are like, duh. Right? <laughs> all right. Because as if there's anybody that plays with the keyboard. All right. Um, <laughs> anyway, we're going to head this way. Start going this way. We are, we have, why? It's, it's weird. Oh, those are five tons. Okay. I guess. I thought we had a lot more uh, excess thrust than that. Usually, uh, I, I expected this thing to be way down here, but I guess not. All right, and what's our AR look like? We don't have any volcanoes coming up right in front of us. Okay, need to get a little bit more. We're gonna get a little bit more uh, altitude here. There we go, and now we can. There we go. All right, and is it doing this thing again? It is doing that. Okay, that's weird. It's it's not me. I didn't accidentally hit caps lock. It's doing that to me. It's like making me. Whoops. It's making me. Uh, I don't. I'm not sure why it's doing that. I'll have to report that as a bug on the forums. Okay. All right, so we're gonna head up to Cargo Spaceway. We're only 18 kilometers away. We need more altitude because we need to be up at 20. Probably, yeah, 23, 2400. We're going to be close to the ski level. And let's see if we can get up there. Now, the biggest the biggest problem I have with, with Cargo Spaceway is at least we're not going like 6,000 <laughs> like we were uh, in several previous, whoops, in several previous uh, adventures. We've, we've had some, we've had a lot of fun. Those of you who have followed this series, and and previous seasons <laughs> um no we have know that we have a history with cargo spaceway where that number that number right below it suddenly shrinks really quickly <laughs> you, you're seven kilometers away and then 20 seconds later you're like ramming into it <laughs> uh yeah or, or your stunt double is you know one or the other right Okay, so yeah, because that kind of thing can happen. So what we're gonna do is we're going to um, we're gonna switch. There we go. So we gotta watch out for these guys too. I like how they can maneuver, but we can't, right? All right. So we're gonna head up this way. Yeah, that's about right. 61 meters a second, that's fine. There we go. Now we can level off our... There we go. We can level off our... What should we call it? Need to go that way. Bring this up a little bit. Now see, we're going to start getting that stuff, so we do need to be careful about... Oh man, is it really going to do that? The ski level is lower than the... Ski level is lower. Currently, the ceiling is lower than the great than the landing pad. So, how is it above? That's the question everybody always has too. Is if that's the case, then how is it up above the thing, right? Because see, if we go up here, what's going to happen is it's going to um, see. It's going to. It's gonna like purposely turn our engines upside down and make us go downwind or go downhill. These guys have, how come we can't get the ski resistant thingies, right? Let's go forward a little bit. 
Let's see if we can get up there. <laughs> see? See what I mean? So yeah, we're not going to be able to get up there. Let's go like this. Uh, okay. So we basically had, just have to wait. We just have to wait for the uh, for the ski level to to change. Kind of lame. All right, let's go like this, and we're gonna do this. We're come up this way, and then at the last second, we're gonna try to maneuver our way into this, connive our way into it, right? Go forward, go forward, go forward! Can we get it? Can we get it? Can we get it? Come on! Oh! <laughs> it was worth a try, right? Alright, is it gonna fly me all the way back to Hardmine? Okay. Yeah, I was gonna... I wanted to see if we could do it, you know? Can, can we make it just kind of, you know, coast onto the thing? But apparently not. But anyway, that's gonna be it for this time. Uh, we are in time for today, so join me next time. And, uh, <laughs> yep, uh, yeah, join me next time for some more testing, I think, or we'll see how they're doing with the model and everything. But yeah, that's going to be it for this time. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> Later.